Pre -op yeah, man, the coach is in the building. Great <laughs> work. Great work. Fashion always been important. We always made sure we, you know what I'm saying, put on crazy looking clothes, at least so we can look rich. We might we might be not rich, but we, we look it, you know what I'm saying? So, it made me feel good. So then that brings me to one of my other questions, right? So if you're an up and coming artist and you've got a hundred bucks, how do we look like you? Like what would you go and buy? Okay, so you've got a hundred bucks. How do I do Amigos look for a hundred bucks? <laughs> You gotta run it up some more, you can't eat. Like, come on, I is it like a t-shirt, is it cut out? Is it like what? Come on, just give me two things. Two things that you'll buy under hundred bucks that will be amigos essential. A silk looking like Versace shirt. <laughs> That'd be about thirty dollars. Okay, so you've got seventy left. What mm -hmm. what next? One more thing. Um, <laughs> the pants gonna cost too much. <laughs> and, and, and the shoes. So the shoes. Really, uh, okay, we could do some fake. No, we can never do fake ones. No, 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 so it's two it. shirts, one one for one day, one for the next. No, All you right. can't do fake bling bling. You can't do that. <laughs> no. Okay, another question for you. Are you. Do you guys dress as a group? Or are you individual, right? So like you think about like, you know, okay, we think like the Jersey Boys group. <laughs> Spice Girls, Ginger, Posh, you know. So do you guys have like, when you get ready, do you, do you think about what each other are wearing? Or is it like an individual thing? Um, we make sure our swag feed off each other, you know, um, for the Jimmy Kimmel, we all did the eight ball throwback jackets, but they all wasn't the same, so they all had like different swag with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, you guys are undoubtedly right now, like, probably the biggest part up and coming of American culture, the rest of the world is following suit and, and catching on rapidly, but uh, you know, I'm sure within the, the next coming months, we're gonna see Migos literally everywhere, which, which is a great thing. What, um, what do you guys want? You know, I know that's a, a big question, but what's something that you want to see happen to, to your personal brand and your personal names in the American spotlight um, during this terrible, terrible four years? <laughs> um, I just wanted to be, I mean, I know it's appreciated, but I just want to fit, I want to like, like, I just, I, I just love the appreciation, you know what I'm saying, like the people just, like, you know what I'm saying, eating up, eat it, we call it eat it up, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you eat it up, I feel like, I love it to death, like, I can't, I can't do nothing, it make me feel good when I see everybody else feeling good, you know what I'm saying, rocking to my music and, and, I don't, I don't like to walk around and saying I'm the culture. That's why we said it this time, but you probably ain't gonna see us stand on too many words like that because y'all y'all gave that to us. You know what I'm saying? Have you got you have you guys met Obama yet? No. <laughs> no. Is that like do you think that I think that's pretty in the sure. stars, right? Like we got it's to. gotta happen. Yeah, I would love to, man. You know, I got to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he's not oh, the boy, president boy. no more, so it, it, we can break some rules a little bit. Yeah, you <laughs> uh, would you guys would you guys do a mixtape with Obama? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you think he's been hiding that he can rap for these eight years? You know, Obama been in these years. He might get sane. Obama smooth guy, like he got some vocals on him. <laughs> Do you think he's more like Luther Vandross than the future Vandross? <laughs> oh man. Bro, that mixtape you just dropped, bro, I'm, I'm liking it, bro. Put me in the studio, bro. Let me let me let me rock with you. And I looked at him and he was the only one in the whole school that was really rocking with that tape. And that's all God. Where were you at at this time? He, he younger than us, so he's right. another grade. Were you in elementary he's, school? He's in the other hallway. <laughs> the other hallway. <laughs> Doing my thing, you know. <laughs> like, he was in the pocket and everything on ad libs, and my dudes came and just took the whole CD from me. <laughs>
because it was too advanced. He was just like, what CD? I think it was uh the Hot Boys, Lil Wayne, Lil hey, Wayne album. Hey, hey. Yeah, five hundred degrees. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have that swag in there, man. You can't just be going in there. Like, I'm, like for real, for real, I record myself. So, like, don't nobody do, don't no, won't nobody, like, do your stuff like you do it. You know what I'm saying? Won't nobody, like, if, even if you got a car, ain't nobody gonna fix your car. Even if you don't know how to fix it, if you go out there and try to fix it, ain't nobody gonna care about your stuff the way you do, like, all the way down to studying, all the way down to the books. So, I feel like if I learn how to do my own thing and I do the stuff that I do, it ain't no point to have no engineer that don't even know me, that don't even know my craft, don't know my music, to be sitting here wasting his time pressing the space bar, because then man, he might not have no chemistry. He, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it ain't. I just be like, man, move out the way, let me get it, I got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what would you say was the most valuable asset you utilized while coming up in Atlanta's music marketplace? For example, your connections, self-sufficiency, etc. Um, my connections, our connections in the streets, like how, how how many, like how many people we had behind us before it all started, you know what I'm saying, it, like we had like the streets behind us, you know what I'm saying, we had like, you got to take over your town and take over your city, like you got to be a good person, you can't just be, you know what I'm saying, trying to be on your high horse and then still trying to be somebody that ain't going to work, you still got to humble yourself and, and, and that's how you got to go with it. So yeah, like the legacy was already like laid out for you in Atlanta. No, you got to build your legacy. I just think <laughs> you gotta. It start. It start with like a team. It start with a team. For sure, like your network. Yes. yes. Okay, so the next question is from Nine. No, I don't think so. If I was put it down, it made me want to get in the studio and make uh, tons of music. If I was mad, I'm gonna go in there and make a crazy song, take my anger out on. You know what I'm saying? Music. Mm -hmm. I have them feeling them. If I'm I got something going on, I'm going to talk about it in the song. You know, I'm going to express it. I'm going to let it out of my song. I went down, I won't let it get to me while I wouldn't make no music. No. What about you, Quavo? Um, I don't know. When I start, I, I make the music and then I listen to it. Sometimes I, I be like, nah, should I put this out? Or, or nah, let's get it to it. Don't do it. Because I got so many songs. We got so many songs that we ain't never put out. And the people be waiting on our music. I just think. I don't know, I, I put like, I put like the feeling in it. Sometimes like, it's too much feeling. I mean like too much emotion, I get too much, I don't know, I get too emotional on the, on the track sometimes. There, is there like a really emotional track that isn't out? Um, I ain't gonna put it out, yeah it is though. Like my mom cry, grandma cry, stuff like that. Is, is that ever gonna come out? I don't wanna make y'all cry. <laughs> I mean, I'm down to cry to your music. <laughs> Give my mama money. You know what I'm saying? Just take care of the family. Um, yeah, mama, mama, mama going crazy. Yeah. Okay. Mama's down right now. Your mama's found you? Mama! <laughs> okay, so um, what advice would you give to your younger self? When it feel good, mm -hmm. and it sound good, like James Brown. <laughs> When it get in your hips and you can't just shake it up off you, you feel it's a troll, baby. You know what I'm saying? When you get in that soul, deep down the inside, you feel it. You know it, man. You just know it. You don't know it. Like, it just do something to you. For sure. When you, I'm just going to cut in. When you, when you have those, like, hundred other songs, though, that also probably are kind of soulful and a little sticky as well. Do you ever like? I don't. Do you just like forget them? Like, do you do you go back and listen to them and be like, ah, oh, this is so good? For sure, like that that always happened, but. It's, it's about timing with the music, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to feed you don't want to feed nobody too much, and then they gonna keep coming back. Like, what's more, you know? So you gotta, course it, you know what I'm saying? You did. Definitely, I go back and listen to it. Like, man, why this ain't now, man? But that all right? Okay. Yeah. Now, what was the question again? <laughs> Like, you didn't feel too great about the first album, so how did you, like, look back on the first album to make sure Culture didn't do that? Like, what was your process? 
don't think we even, we didn't even look back. We so we, cause I felt like that was gonna trickle down on us. I felt like we just kept moving forward. Um, like if it, if it's a bad, you know what I'm saying, like a bad play, you just go one day at a time. You know, so you, you gotta you gotta do it like one play at a time. I play football, so I, I always like just look at it as it's a, it's a play on the field. You know what I'm saying? If it, interception, we still gotta go and scope. We gotta try to win this football game. So I look at it like that. Back down that way. So you guys are really influential as far as pop culture goes right now. Do you guys plan on utilizing that same platform to address a lot of the political and racial injustices that's going on today? I think we need to get get our get our foundation a little bit strong and just start talking about that. You know what I'm saying? I feel now, you guys got it right now, man, and all this shit is happening right now. And you guys are doing it for the culture, yo. This is our culture, yo. You gotta speak on it, bro. <laughs> I just want, at least I know I got y'all behind me now, so let's do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what do you think is the future for Atlanta track now, now that it's finally like human stream? We the future. Hey! Yeah. All right, here you go. All right, um, uh, let me start by picking I know, let's do this lady right here. Um, I'm from Atlanta too, and I, I don't know if you guys have heard, like, the comments about Zone 5 and 6 from, like, Donald Trump and how it's, like, really crime-ridden and they need to change it, and I'm just wondering how you guys feel about that and if you think that it's something that needs to be addressed or changed or if you think it's, like, worth preserving the culture. Huh? We from the north. Yeah, that we from the north side. We ain't from no zone. <laughs> <laughs> but just um, in general. I feel like... Crime needs to be stopped everywhere. <laughs> so it just go down. I don't, I, don't, I, I can't, they go back to what he said. I just gotta, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't be talking, I don't like talking about stuff like that because, you know what I'm saying, I don't want my words to get twisted up. Right. Um, I, I feel like it's, it's about timing with, with the whole squad, you know what I mean? Everybody can't be shining at, at the same time because it, it, it won't. It won't, you know what I'm saying, mess right. I feel like everybody come out like, if you hit them like that, it'll look like an empire. It'll look like, you know what I'm saying, like the new cash money or something, you know what I'm saying? And they, they all came out in waves and then they dropped music together. So I feel like if you hit them with waves and just hit them step by step, it'll be larger and more respected. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like, I like all type of music. Um, no, but, man. I think like Lady Gaga or something like that. <laughs> I won't hold my book, you know what I'm saying, put on the book. And I'll come right out there with the flow, you dig? <laughs> um, yeah, I like Lady Gaga. I tell Lady Gaga share the stage for the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. How is it, do you feel like the labels, like, they're trying to divide you and separate you? I feel like we transformed. We family, you know, it's, it's real blood, so no matter who or nobody can, you know what I'm saying, try to separate us because it's real family. Nobody can come between us, you know what I'm saying? It's real family. You gotta stick together. We've been, we've been doing stuff for so long, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, man, come on, like, really? You really gonna separate? You really gonna know where you going, man? You gonna come back to the same dinner table, we're doing everything, what we doing, man? I'm gonna tell you more on you. What you doing? So it's like, nah. What was the day after Donald Glover shout out like? And what's your relationship? Man, my phone like caught fire like no Samsung though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that way. And it was so it was, it was crazy, man. That was that was the biggest blessing and, and, and for him to do that on that stage, like, come on man, that should, that should have like old people like in their phones like wanna know who we is and I walk through the airport now and they like Vigos, Mike, Michaels. <laughs> So, it's crazy, it's crazy. He, he's a, he's a, um, I think he's like 18, 17. Um, he in Italy, and he sent me, he, he did like, he did these covers in my DM, and I liked the way he did it, so I sent him a picture to do Bad and, Bad and Bougie cover, he did that one, and then, he kept, and I was like, bro, I need, I need this culture album, I need you to like, just find 
culture, like, and put it together. Whatever you want. I told him, just use your brain. I put it like if I, if you, if you on my team and you work with you work with us, I put all the trust in you. I just make you go get it, come back with it if you know if you know the Migos. So he he, he just kept sending these these covers back. I'm like, no, nah, brother, not it, not it, not it, not it. Next thing you know, he hit he he sent it to um 300 my label, and they came back with it and. It was just amazing. I couldn't, it, it wasn't nothing I could say. I was like, bro, this shit right here, this the one. Like the roses, the doves, the white duck, the white, the white, the white roses and the doves represent my grandmama because she just passed away. And offset grandmama, that represent that, you know, the cars, you know, we love the cars. That's how we want to come in the game. Um, the flames, who ain't the hottest young in the street? You know what I'm saying? So, the no side, could we going? That, that way. way. And, and then to say the Atlanta sign, north. but we put the north on it because a lot of people ain't know about you know what I'm saying, the north side of Atlanta. And they just all do the zones, like she said, five zone, five zone, six. She knew, we only knew the zone, they only knew the zones. So we came in marketing the north side, that's why we put the north on that map. You did. Yeah. Just had that connection. And they always want to drop stuff first in Atlanta. They love that. They love breaking new music, and that's the hub of breaking music. So. I feel like if you don't, if you got something, you want to break something, start in the A. Hey. For real. New York, they kind of like rough on you. <laughs> we had to build, we had to get New York, you know what I'm saying? We had to build our respect for New York, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's why, I, that's what I like about up here. They like real serious on the lyrics. So when you coming in, you got to spit right. If you ain't spitting right, they going to kick you out. You did? I like that. I ain't want to go to the trap. Like I ain't want to be in the trap with it. I wanted to bring the trap to the, to the wilderness. I wanted to bring. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Put that culture on it. You know what I'm saying? It looked just respectable like that. It just felt. It felt better. You know what I'm saying? It felt good. I, t I just, and and when I said white, I wanted to bring so much white that I couldn't find. You got to get it out the snow. So <laughs> that's it. Right here. Yeah. Do you know when? You will announce the culture talk? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you guys feel about Drake dropping his album tonight? Do you think you kind of like, show your sign a little? Drake dropping the album tonight? Yeah. 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 That's real? Yeah. That's real? Yeah. real, real. Oh, okay, Drake. <laughs> Okay. That's the girl with the Uzi on the back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she got the Uzi on the back. And this the rain, that's how you know the rain drops coming. <laughs> you know? And just lightweight dab. Cause I knew I, was, I knew I was coming to class today, so. That's how I got dressed in class. Just wait on it! <laughs> just wait on it! Before we leave out, I just wanna ask one more question. Just what role have women had in promoting y'all's music? I think even if you look at that bougie, that's really kind of a song. That's kind of explicit. Girls always activated. make our music go. Like, the dudes, you know, girls, I mean, men always like what, you know what I'm saying, the ladies like. And it's believe it or not, like, if a girl playing this song, 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 the man gonna go get in the car and just drive down the street and play that song that his girl been playing. Like, it's, it just, it just, they set the trend. It's probably with the ladies. Amen. Wow. Girls run the world, right? Y'all, yeah. I really appreciate that you so much. Thank y'all for having me. Migos in the building. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.